Hey, Bless Day, welcome into the Sports Order here on the Grateful Gap Podcast. About to get directly to the daily verse and then get it to the sports rundown. Daily verse for the date of October 31st, 2024, derives from the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 35, and the state says follows. I have shown you in all things that by working hard in this way, you must assist those who are weak and must keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus. When he himself said, there is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 35. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, for the sports huddle, I'll be going over the World Series, uh, Thursday night football preview, NFL week eight recap. My top NFL teams through eight, uh, eight weeks in the NFL, excuse me, uh, NBA season, um, NCAA football week nine recap. Looking forward to week 10 preview and the National Hockey League. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, the Yankees survived the sweep, but they did not survive the series. Um, the Los Angeles Dodgers defeated the Yankees last night uh, to win the World Series four games to one. Um, shout out to Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman was named your um, World Series MVP. Of course, um, he made a he did he did he had a historic run. In the uh, World Series with with his home runs, so let me put it up here. Uh, make sure I get the right history. I believe he was like the first guy to ever hit a home run in each of his first four games. Um, World Series history. Yeah, I mean, I didn't watch the game last night, um, Game Five, but I did check out Game Four, and um, the Yankees really gave it all they had. You know, they they gave it all they had, so that was pretty dope. So. Yeah, so after setting the home run record, Freddie Freeman became the MVP. So let's see what he had here. All right, so Freddie Freeman set a major league record for most consecutive World Series games with a home run at a streak of six that began with the last two games of his appearance in 2021 with the Braves. Shout out to the Braves. He did it win with us. I was really sad when Freddie had to go, but I'm happy for him. He's doing great things. So um, six straight games he had a um, – a home run in. So two games with the Atlanta Braves and then four games with the um, Los Angeles Dodgers. So again, the Los Angeles Dodgers are your 2024 series champions. Shout out to Los Angeles. Y'all be safe out there. Enjoy. And I'm looking forward to the next Major League Baseball series season. Excuse me. A shout out to the Yankees also. Um, y'all fought hard. You know, y'all didn't get swept. Um, you know, but ultimately y'all didn't accomplish the goal you wanted to, but you made it. And um, hopefully it gives y'all a lot of um, hope and, and, and something to look forward to going forward, um, you know, for next season. So good luck. Moving on to a Thursday night football preview. Thursday night football kicks off tonight on Prime at 8.15. Um, we have the New York Jets hosting the Houston Texans. Um, this should be a pretty good game. Um, the Jets are spiraling right now. So, um, you know, what a better way to be able to do something good in prime time. Um, hopefully her son Reddit gets, gets on the field this week. Um, he's had a deal done with the Jets in two for two weeks now, and he hasn't. I haven't seen him on the field yet. So, um, hopefully, he makes his debut tonight and gives CJ Stroud a run for his money. Um, and then the Texans are looking to, uh, you know, find that replacement for Stefan Diggs. Well, not not the replacement. They got Nico Collins and those type of guys over there. But um, the Texans lost Stefan Diggs for the season, which is a huge loss for them. So look for the Texans to be. You know, uh, I'm looking around in that market before the before the trade deadline closes in the NFL. Um, I've, been, I've been hearing Cooper Cup is on a trading block right now. So um, this could be a, a wide receiver that can come into that Texan or organization and fill that void of what Stephon Diggs left. So um, be on the lookout for that game tonight. Again, 8.15 p.m. on Prime Video. The New York Jets hosting the Texans. I got the Texans winning probably 30, 30 to 17. The Texans score pretty good. Um, but again, you know, if Hassan Reddick come in and plays tonight, he might have something to say. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Moving on, uh, NFL Week 8 recap. NFL Week 8 did not disappoint, especially for my team. Uh, from Sunday games, October 27th, we had the Philadelphia Eagles dominate the Bengals 37-17. We had the Patriots with a comeback win over the Jets 25-22. We had the Packers defeat the Jaguars 30-27. We had the Lions dominate the Titans 52 to 14. We had the Falcons defeat the Buccaneers 31 to 26. Um, it's looking like the Falcons are going to win that division. Um, easy peasy. 
Um, currently, right now, they are, hold on, they are, what, 4 0 in their division, I believe? Let's see. The Falcons are 4 0. Yeah, in the NFC South, they're 4 0 right now. So um, they've beaten the, they're doing pretty good right now. They're sitting good, looking good, you know, controlling their division. So shout out to the uh, Falcons. I had them, you know, earlier this year, picking them to win their division. So um, also, my cousin Matt, Matt, he'll be joining us on Saturday. If anybody was wondering what Mad Matt is, he will be joining us on Saturday, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, continuing on, we had the Cardinals defeat the Dolphins 28-27. to And Tua's, um, and Tua's season, I ain't going to say season debut, but uh, Tua's return to the field. Um, he couldn't get the Dolphins to win that game, but it's okay. Uh, moving along, we had the Browns with a shocker over the Ravens. The Browns defeated the Ravens 29-24. We had the Texans defeat the Colts 23 to 20. Almost, a, it was a lot of controversy at the end of that game. Uh, we had Anthony Richardson. Um, he he took himself out of the game, um, so the Colts benched him going forward. Um, this is just something to learn, some for the, the young kids to look to look forward to, and, and just some for everybody in our life um, to learn things from. We we don't know what type of outcome is going to be given from our actions until we take them. So, um, you know, he he brought himself out of the game. Um, you know, obviously the coach organization felt like that was unacceptable. The fan base probably felt the same way. His teammates and a lot of different um, aspects probably went into that. But, you know, ultimately he made that decision himself. And, um, you know, like he said the other day, we live and we learn. So, you know, this is something I, I'm pretty sure that he'll, you know, keep in, the, keep in the back of his, his mind to be able to go harder for himself and for his teammates and just leave it all on the field. So um, that happened. So Joe Flacco will be the starting quarterback going forth um, as, of, as of for right now. So. Then moving on, we had the Chargers defeat the Saints 20. We had the Bills defeat the Seahawks 31 to 10. We had the Commanders defeat the Bears with a last minute Hail Mary. That was really a phenomenal to watch. You know, I, I believe that that percentage of that play being completed is maybe less than three, maybe three percent. Like it's not, it's not a high percentage play. And to be able to see it get executed for the game was pretty awesome to see. Um, so the Commanders, you know, they keep finding ways to win, and that's what they're doing right now. So. Uh, the Broncos defeated the Panthers 28-14. The Chiefs are still the only undefeated remaining team in the NFL. They defeated the Raiders 27-20. The 49ers defeated the Cowboys 30-24. And the Steelers defeated the Giants on Monday night 26-18. So, again, kicking off Thursday night football today for Week 9 is the Jets and the Texas tonight on Prime Video. So, make sure y'all tune in for that. Moving on to my top five teams. Um, through week eight in the NFL. Number one, I'm going to put the Chiefs. Obviously, you know, they're undefeated. You know, why not? Um, I'm going to add the Lions at number two. I'm going to add the Eagles at number three. I'm going to put the Ravens at number four. And I am going to put the, I'm going to put the Falcons. I'm going to put the Falcons. Falcons at number five. Um, Falcons leading that division right now. Um, looking like a for sure playoff slot currently at the moment. Um, so that's my top five teams right now in the league. Chiefs, Lions, Eagles, Ravens, Falcons. Um, so it's fluid. Just like Mr. Stephen A. Smith says, it's a fluid list. Except the Eagles. The Eagles are going to always be on my list. If we're playing good. If we're not playing good, we don't have a good record. I'm not going to not gonna put them up there. But um, our defense has been coming along the last couple of weeks. Um, Jalen Hurst has played much better football since the bye week. Um, he said it's been one of the, the most productive and most successful by weeks he's, he's had in his career so far, and it's looking like it's paying off. So um, we got a big game this weekend, the Jaguars and Doug Peterson coming in, coming into town. Um, so, you know, the Jaguars always give us a run for our money, um, another physical team um, in the NFL. But, you know, I think I think it's going to be a good matchup. And, you know, like I say, I think our defense is, um, you know, trending in the right direction. Uh, shout out to my young Philly dogs. Up there in, um, in, in with the Eagles, um, Nola Smith is coming around. I keep telling people they be sleeping on my boys. Nola Smith, a dog. The Kobe Dean been a dog. I've been telling them, you know, he finally get a chance to be on the field healthy, and he's showing what he can do. You know, Jalen Carter gonna be Jalen Carter. Jordan Davis doing his thing. Um, Keely Ringo, he been stepping up times. His number been called also. So, um, shout out to my guys, man. Y'all boys just keep working, um, keep putting it together, and um, you know, just keep keep connecting, keep connecting. And let's you know continue to get this defense to where we wanted to be at, um, as dominating, and um, let's keep rolling. So fly Eagles, fly. Moving on to the NBA season, NBA season from this week, 
um, is as follows. The Hawks have lost two straight in a row against the Wizards at that, which I didn't appreciate, but whatever. Uh, moving on to Monday games, October 28th, we had the Wizards defeat the Hawks 119. We had the Magic defeat the Pacers 119 and 115. And we had uh, Paolo Benchero. He scored 50 points. Um, he scored 50 points in his win over the Indiana Pacers. I believe that his, that's his career high, uh, 50 points. So he had a dominating game. Yeah, he did have a career high 50 points. Uh, we had the Celtics defeat the Bucks 119 and 108. Um, the Bucks are currently one and three. They have not. They've only won one game. Um, the, the Celtics are four and zero. Well, they were four and zero at that moment. The Heat defeated the Pistons one hundred six to ninety eight. The Cavaliers over the Knicks one one ten to one hundred four. Um, the Cavaliers are having an awesome start. Also, they are undefeated so far throughout the season. Um, then we have the Nuggets defeat the Raptors one twenty seven to one twenty five. The Bulls defeated the Grizzlies one twenty six to one twenty three. We had the Rockets defeat the Spurs 106 to 101. We had the Mavericks defeat the Jazz 110 to 102. The Suns defeated the Lakers 109 to 105. And the Kings defeated the Trailblazers 111 to 98. From Tuesday games, October 29th, we had the Nuggets defeat the Nets 144 to 139. We had the Mavericks defeat the Timberwolves 120 to 114. We had the Kings defeat the Jazz 113 to 96. And we had the Warriors defeat the Pelicans, 124-106. to 106. For Wednesday games, October 30th, we had the Wizards defeat the Hawks, 133-120. to 120. The Hornets defeated the Raptors, 138-133. to 133. The Cavaliers defeated the Lakers, 134-110 to 110 to advance to 5-0. We had the Pacers defeat the Celtics in overtime, 135-132 to 132 to give the Celtics their first loss of the season. Um, we had the Pistons defeat the 76ers, 105-95. The 76ers are looking bad. Also, the 76ers are currently 1-3 and three, um, through the first four games of the season. Um, the Knicks defeated the Heat, 116-107. The Nets defeated the Grizzlies, 119-106. The Thunder defeated the Spurs, 105-93. The Warriors defeated the Pelicans, 104-89. And the Trailblazers defeated the Clippers, 106-105. For today's games, kicking off at 8 p.m. on NBA TV, we got the Grizzlies hosting the Bucks tonight, the Mavericks hosting the Rockets, the Spurs going up against the Jazz, and for late night on NBA TV at 10.30 p.m. tonight, we have the Clippers hosting the Suns. For Friday games, November 1st, first game, uh, first day in November, we got some NBA action. Uh, we got the Hornets hosting the Celtics. We got the Hawks hosting the Kings. We have the Cavaliers hosting the Magic. That should be a pretty good game at 7 p.m. on ESPN. We have the Pistons hosting the Knicks, the Bulls going up against the Nets, the Raptors hosting the Lakers, the Pelicans hosting the Pacers, the Nuggets going up against the Timberwolves at 9.30 p.m. on ESPN. Western Conference semifinals rematch from that game, um, from last year's playoffs. Um, then we have the Trailblazers hosting the Thunder. So make sure y'all tune into the Saturday Sports Auto to get updated information from the NBA. Moving on to the NCAA Top 25 Week 9 recap and looking forward to Week 10 preview on the NCAA Top 25 from Week 9 was as follows. Uh, we had number 4 Ohio State defeat Nebraska 21-17. We had number 12 Notre Dame dominate number 24 Navy 51-14. Um, I guess the Navy, I had them on upset alert, but um, Notre Dame had something to say about that. We had number 13 Indiana defeat Washington 31-17. Number 18, Ole Miss defeated Oklahoma 26-14. I had number 20, uh, Illinois on upset watch also. Number one, Oregon had something to say about that. Number one, Oregon dominated number 20, Illinois 38-9. Number 11, BYU defeated UCF 37-24. We had number 15, Alabama shut out number 21, Missouri 34-0. We had number five, Texas skate by number 25, Vanderbilt 27-24. I had number 25, Vanderbilt, upset at number five, Texas. They were close, but they didn't get it done. Um, then we had number six, Miami, defeat Florida State, 36 to 14. We had number three, Penn State, defeat Wisconsin, 28 to 13. We had number 14, Texas A&M, defeat number eight, LSU, 38 to 23. Texas A&M looking real good. We had number 16, Kansas State, defeat Kansas, 29 to 27. And we had number 22, SMU, defeat Duke. 
28 to 27 in overtime. For week 10 games kicking off on Friday, November 1st, we have number 15, Boise State, hosting San Diego State at 8 p.m. on FS1 tomorrow. So make sure y'all tune in to the Saturday Sports Huddle to get the full week 10 uh, matchup in the top 25 and get updated information from Friday Night Football and college number 15, Boise State, hosting San Diego State. Moving on to the National Hockey League. National Hockey League from this week is as follows. For Monday games, October 28th, we have the Panthers defeat the Sabres 5-2. We have the Blue Jackets defeat the Oilers 6-1. We have the Lightning defeat the Predators 3-2. The Maple Leafs defeated the Jets 6-4. The Blackhawks over the Avalanche 5-2. The Sharks defeated the Utah Hockey Club 5-4. The Hurricanes defeated the Canucks. And the Golden Knights defeated the Flames 5-0. For Tuesday games, October 29th, we had the Flyers defeat the Bruins 2-0. The Kraken defeated the Canadians 8-2. The Ducks defeated the Islanders 3-1. The Wild over the Penguins 5-3. The Senators defeated the Blues 8-1. The Capitals defeated the Rangers 5-3. And the Sharks defeated the Kings 4-2. From last night games, October 3rd, excuse me, we had the Blue Jackets defeat the Islanders 2-0. The Jets over the Red Wings 6-2. The Lightning defeated the Avalanche 5-2. The Utah Hockey Club defeated the Flames 5-1. The Kings defeated the Golden Knights 6-3. And the Devils defeated the Canucks 6-0. For Thursday games, October 31st, Today, uh, kicking off at 7 p.m. on ESPN+, Plus, we had the Maple Leafs hosting the Krakens, the Flyers hosting the Blues, the Ducks going up against the Penguins, the Capitals hosting the Canadians, the Hurricanes hosting the Bruins, the Oilers going up against the Predators, and the Sharks are hosting the Blackhawks. For Friday games, November 1st, kicking off at 1 p.m. on the National Hockey League Network, we have the Dallas Stars hosting the Florida Panthers, we have the Sabres hosting the Islanders, the Senators going up against the Rangers. The Blue Jackets hosting the Jets. The Lightning going up against the Wild. And we got the Flames hosting the Devils. Make sure y'all tune in to Saturday Sports Hotel to get updated information from the National Hockey League. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for y'all this morning on the Sports Hotel. Uh, be on the lookout for upcoming things. NCAA men's and women's basketball kicks off next Monday, November 4th. So make sure y'all tune into that. Um, I'm excited about that. I feel like the Georgia Bulldogs. Men and women are going to have a great season this year. Um, looking forward to the Georgia Bulldogs cracking the top 25. Um, we got some good uh, transfer portal guys, um, you know, that type of thing. We, we got some good recruits also coming in uh, coming in this season, so I'll be on the lookout for that. Um, also, uh, moving along, you know, we're getting closer and closer uh, to um, the college football playoffs. Um, the college football playoffs. Playoff bracket will be getting released in the next couple of weeks. Here, um, it's like I said, it's week t- what week nine or week ten uh, for the uh, college football. So that in the next couple of weeks, we'll have the first um, college football playoff rankings released. So be on the lookout for that. Also, um, and um, y'all be blessed. Have a great today. Appreciate everybody' love and support. Again, if you're out you know, out in Los Angeles, about to go celebrate with the uh, Dodgers. Make sure y'all be safe. Take care of yourselves. Um, be blessed. Um, you know, always give go- give glory to God and make the best of it. Y'all take care, and I love y'all. Until next time, peace.